Do you, by the way, think about AI and the existential threats? Like, speaking of gods, are you, is this whole technological world, we talked about social networks and this increasing power of technology around us, we ourselves are becoming less human because we keep becoming, we, we keep relying on technology more and more. So we're becoming kinds of cyborgs, but also there's a future that's quite possible where the technology becomes smarter and more powerful than us humans and you know starts having a life of its own in ways that perhaps we don't imagine as human beings i don't just mean like two-legged robots walking around and being humans but smarter i mean like an intelligent life that's that's beyond and uh, fundamentally different than our, our human life. It's it's infinite. It's uh, also we're creating a new species. Yeah, yeah, a new a new kind of species. Mm. Not even just a new species. You're talking about systems, but like it it lives in the space of information. It lives uh, in a different time scale and a different scale of all sorts spatial scale. It uh, operate like we speak. We spoke about individuals. It doesn't operate in the sense of a single individual, like a, a embody. It's not embodied, so it's not like a a thing that walks around and it like it looks at stuff. It, it consumes the world. It's able to do much larger scale sensing of the environment around it, all that kind of stuff. I can barely even try to. Con I can barely even conceive of what that would be like. Are you scared or are you excited? I don't define like, scared or excited i feel like i try to tend to define them like the same way or i'm like i, I, I guess i if i'm kind of like when before karaoke it's the same I, well that's actually kind of my happy place it's not so much everyone else's you know it's uh everyone else is probably you know heading for the door at that point but you know it's uh while you're doing it or leading <laughs> or leading up to the karaoke session well it depends whether or not uh whether or not they know it's me if they know it's me that's before i start if they if they're like who's that guy then they're like halfway through the song they're already you know what, they throw their beer what categories of song or a particular song are we talking about in terms of like your happy place oh man are you kidding me i mean obviously bohemian rhapsody i mean there's no question because really? I don't have to, oh yeah because i don't have to sing it here it's that it's like you remember can you can i beat can be oh yeah of course is it here no yeah then yeah yeah all right if you well, like is this, it here no then I, yeah. I have a torn i have a i have torn feelings about bohemian rhapsody because i like the beginning part the sadness i like, I like the solo mm. the heartbreak but the second part, I understand it, yeah, but it's so well, it ridiculous. Gets, it, gets, it gets ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. It ruins it for me. But it's more about flexing on people, I think, if you can actually hit hit that, hit that, you know, the falsetto. Yeah. So it's <laughs> it's not, okay. So you appreciate not for the musical uh, beauty and complexity of the song. You just like to flex on people. Well, because like yeah. for all, yeah, like what's the purpose well, of, of anything except for just to let everyone know that you think you're cool? <laughs> <laughs> and there's no better way of doing that than karaoke so i'm not sure why about captive, karaoke captive audience yeah exactly oh Draw about fear and excitement of artificial intelligence i mean like you know me i don't know anything about i just I, I, basically i don't i don't understand the implications of, of any of this i would just say that like radically altering what it means to be human in such an unbelievably short period of time just seems like such a crazy thing and also it's not like we're i, I can't remember who said this to me recently it might have been you I, I can't remember so this is definitely not my idea but uh we're we're not even going hey would you like to opt in everyone everyone is being opted in you know and particularly when you want to talk about like large scale robotics or large scale ai like the world is changing people in senegal are opting in right now without realizing it it's not even like and again i don't mean to pick on senegal it's just it's whatever country comes up to mind but that's in the developing world but basically uh you know recognizing that this huge shift is coming we have no idea if this is a decent idea and also something else i've always been considered is uh you know you think about most of the really awful 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 things that have done in history large scale slavery holly and you name it it didn't if people say that it came from this motivation or that motivation maybe it did maybe it didn't fundamentally the issue at least in my mind and i'm not a historian power differential if you if you and I can't contest, we don't contend. It's not like you we fight and you might win or we fight, or even you'll win comfortably. It's you are so unbelievably powerful compared to me that there's nothing I can do to stop you. That seems like a recipe for something really, really not great happening. Because if you think about like uh, you know, European countries encountering each other, and I'm just speculating, I don't know anything about history, but let's say countries that can contend with one another mm -hmm. versus countries that can't. 
let's say an alien species, alien race shows up, you know, right now, we don't want that. I think Stephen Hawking said that. That makes it makes perfect sense to me. We don't want that. If you can come here, we better hope you're nice. Because well, what are we going to do? What are we going to hope that you invade the water planet like they did in, uh, you know, one of the uh, sorry, Lord of the yeah, War of the Worlds? So, so I guess what I'm, what I'm trying to get across is like. Shocking levels of power differential between groups seem, makes the makes the world ripe for horrific abuse in the event that someone decides to do it. It's like 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 you imagine an adult hitting a child, like hitting hitting a child. No one in their right mind would ever go like, oh yeah, that's a great idea, because it's such an it's so grossly imbalanced. You're like, this is wrong, that's but but it's also on the table only because of the gross imbalance. So I, I guess to come back, it's like whether we create AI and it's on a, some crazy level of its own or it's I'm in charge of it, or I just, it seems like we're, we're creating, you mentioned like uh, game theory and nuclear war. What prevented nuclear war? I mean, I pre presumably mutually assured destruction. I mean, hopefully also humanity and, and the humanity and the, and the reasonable, you know, cooler heads prevailing and going, Hey, I can, I can understand the veil of ignorance. And I, um, I don't go, Oh yeah, let me kill those guys. Cause I can't I go, this is wrong period. And in concept, this is not an action I should take. But it's also nice and easy to keep me honest if I know that I can't get you without being got myself. Yeah. But what happens when I can get anyone anything and I'm more or less untouchable? Like that seems to me to be like like various times in colonial history, you know what I mean? And what happened? We know what happened. But so the possibility of really bad things are plentiful, the That's possibilities. Fair. But are the possibilities of uh, really positive things are plentiful. So like like you, what though? I'm not saying wrong. I don't, I just I'll, don't even know. So I can give a million examples. So one is just the examples of the parent and the child. Uh, you said uh, there's a power differential there and we don't like a parent hitting their child. What about like, not just hitting, like beating? Beating, like where you're yeah, like, yeah, great. <sighs> beating their child, how often, Percentage wise, do you see that happening? Even though that 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 uh, power differential, first of all, other people's kids. Let's just put this on the table. I love kids, but other people's kids can be annoying sometimes. Sometimes you got to deal out some justice. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't practice. We don't take advantage of that power differential. No. So like, there is ethics. There's moralities that emerge that allow the power differential to be used for good versus for bad. So like. You're one of the assumptions with Stephen Hawking or with uh, if Russia became much more powerful than America or America much more powerful than Russia in the Cold War, your assumption that immediately that power differential, not your assumption, but- Would express in, itself, right? Would express itself in the in the same way that it was trying to express itself when there was a more mm. uh, level competition. But it's also possible when the power differential grows, the incentive, the joy, whatever the mechanisms that uh, w made sense when it was at the same level, the, the incentives become very different. That's it's fair. not as fun to destroy the ant colony. You start becoming more the kind of uh, a conservationist. Like one hopes. What, when That's you, an evolved perspective, though. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's evolved or not, but it's definitely a possibility. It's unclear to me that something that's many orders of magnitude more powerful than us will want to destroy us. Well, I mean, what did we, what did, I mean, how did, how did mass slavery occur? How did, you know, like just big dogs playing with not? Right? I think, I think slavery and a, a lot of the atrocities in history happened when the power differential was not as great as, as we're talking about with AI potentially. Is that not somehow worse than? <laughs> it would, it's not obvious to me. It's not obvious that things that are way more powerful they, uh, that's fair okay so i think I, I think you're i guess how do you restrain it though uh there there's a lot of different discussions of how to uh i guess even restrain each other because let's say i go and decide to strike someone's child which i'd like to think i wouldn't do yes i will be promptly i will find myself in front of a judge and so i feel like there's a lot can you imagine how many people used to get murdered just in the woods yeah i mean i would just presume it's a lot you know, and so maybe, I, mean, I don't think most people are, are lunatics like that, but I would just say- but that's the point. If you're given though, if you're given to that, your ability to get away with it was was greater in the past because of chance of detection was less. So that does, I don't know, yeah, maybe yeah. I'm being so unreasonable. This is what that's called in artificial intelligence, AI safety research called value alignment of ensuring as you build 
the the systems that become smarter and smarter and more powerful and powerful make sure that their values are aligned with the entities over which they're becoming powerful with with humans. So if you were to talk to an AI that's becoming smarter, at first it's dumber than you, but then it's becoming smarter and smarter, you have to create mechanisms where you both value the same things. I guess one thing I wonder, so I guess I'm, I'm probably not, like sharp enough to grasp this if i'm honest but i guess like i, I wonder like uh i use the chess programs yeah. um you know was deep blue stockfish and then like alpha zero and alpha zero teaching itself to beat stockfish without any help in four hours yeah, yeah. like it becomes orders of magnitude more intelligence than us in effectively an instantaneous period i guess what i always wondered like uh if you were that much smarter than me I feel like your ability to manipulate me would be pretty significant, or at least it's, potentially, no? But, but yeah. manipulation implies that the incentive is to overpower everything around you. Mm. Like th there's implied incentives. Okay. If your value is to actually, like w uh, it depends what you want in life. Okay. <laughs> what you want in your system, like, it's it's not clear that the goal of an AI system that's all powerful is to destroy all humans. No, I don't think that I don't think that it is either. I guess what I'm or even it, enslave but, all humans. I that's fair. I guess what I'm trying to suggest is that something adequately powerful, these these actions are on the table. Yes, they're on the table and that's scary. And that's why a lot of people are really concerned about it and are working on it. Like I'm just trying to make the case mm. for AGI because if they're watching this he's the one to kill uh, no actually i was thinking i was uh yeah i i i, I wash toilets like really well there's, there's a... no i mean that that's the main concern for all the people in the ai safety research uh, people talk about agi is it's uh it's kind of disturbing how little people are working on trying to create mechanisms that keep ai's values aligned with ours that's completely unshocking. <laughs> yeah, we we humans seem to do only good when like, you know, you even look at like coronavirus, it's like when, like the water has to be leaking from the ceiling. It, you have to be, there has fine, to be fine. blood <laughs> everywhere, fire, just destruction. We we just seem to ignore completely uh, any Writing trouble. all over the wall. Writing all over this the wall. Fine. This is yeah, fine. I'm sure not nothing to see here we'll be okay but we do all right especially in the united states you figure out even when it becomes a really serious problem uh, taking actions last minute 